everyone and welcome to Knit Grit. My name is Cody and in today's video we're going to go over how to make the general base body for this cute little snowman. In our last video we did an eye cord which is what I'm using for the scarf for the snowman so you can go ahead and pop over there and see that video live now. Tomorrow I'm hoping to get the accessories for the snowman done. This is going to be a two-parter so definitely stay tuned and you'll have to come back for that. Today's video we're going to go over just the base body but in tomorrow's video we're going to go over how to make the mittens, arms, nose, and earmuffs. Basically today we're just going to do the general body of our snowman and I'm going to show you how I do the eyes and what the general pattern for that is. I am going to upload the PDF for this pattern. There will be a free coupon code for that down below so you can get that now and also I believe the next video will also have a coupon code so you can get that there. You're going to need whatever colors you're making for your accessories. I used this really pretty green color, this brown for the twigs. You don't need a lot for that. And this really pretty red and this orange color. All Hobby Lobby cottons. I really like how all these look and how they are. But generally, they're all worsted weight or a size 4 yarn. So you're going to want to go with pretty much similar yarn textures for that for your snowman. Try to get all of them the same brand if you can help it but if you can't you just find the same textures and things that work similarly together um you're also going to need some white yarn as well i am using i love this cotton which again is a hobby lobby brand i really like how this works and it's really pretty they also have this really pretty sparkly version of it as well that would work really well for snow i might make one with the sparkly yarn but with a bit more of a subdued red and a subdued green a little bit like darker tones they're really pretty too i found some i'll post it on my instagram if i do wind up making that snowman also stay tuned for our videos set after this we're going to be doing how to make this cute little hat for the Among Us characters and also it will fit on any of your Lunas. This snowman was purposely made to be Luna size so you can have your little Luna characters build a snowman that's their size. So you're going to need that yarn for this project as well as some 12 millimeter safety eyes and some polyfill. Obviously I use polyester fiber fill. Just some little things to stuff whatever you want with. I'm also using a darning needle and I'm going to be using my Furls crochet hook. I have an affiliate link for them down below. They give you like a coupon thing for that down there. So if you're interested in getting your own Furls crochet hook, you can go down there for that. I love this. This is a D3 or a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. Again, you can use any crochet hook you'd like, but this one's my favorite because it's so nice to hold. Okay. Also make sure to get the printable PDF for this if you don't have it. All of the accessories and everything will be in it it will be just the base snowman i just need to split this up because i'm editing on my phone and if i go too long on my phone it's really hard to edit and hard to export so that's why i split up my snowman tutorial in two separate pieces because i'm not sure if this is going to go over an hour or not all right now that my little spiel is done let's go ahead and get started i'm going to post up the pattern right here now that we have that we're going to get out our white yarn I'm gonna move everything else out of the way. We're gonna move our hat out of the way, everything out of the way, snowman out of the way included. I'm gonna move our little eyes over here and we're going to basically work with staggering our stitches. I already have a video where I explain staggering a bit more in depth, but essentially when we stagger our stitches, I just blew out all of my yarn. Oh gosh. All right, so essentially when you stagger your stitches, you're taking your increases. And you're going to want to be comfortable with working in the round and doing increases. This is not a basic beginner's one where I show you stitch by stitch. I am, however, going step by step. So what we will do is you're going to need to know how to work in the round and you're going to need to know increasing as well as basically single crocheting and decreasing as well and working in the round. So we're going to just create a little slip knot and I'm going to create my version of a magic ring. So the magic ring is essentially for me, I can never figure out how to do an actual magic ring. So I'm just going to chain two. So one and two. And now we're going to skip our second stitch from our hook and we're going to go into our very first one right here. And we're going to place six single crochet. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six. And it's much easier to show you what staggering our stitches look like versus explaining it in some kind of convoluted way. So here we are going to turn our work and we're going to work into our very first single crochet that we just put into our ring. So here we're gonna put two stitches inside that one like so. And from my work, you'll notice two things. One, I'm going through front loop only. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That is definitely happening. I think that that makes the stitch look bubblier, and I like how that looks more. I also go from left to right instead of right to left. So I prefer going left to right and just plucking my yarn that way, and it will work either way. I just like how my stitches look better when I do it that way. So I just put two single crochet inside the first stitch. Now we're gonna go into the second stitch and do the very same. We're gonna be going from six stitches up to 12, basically. So this is our second stitch, and we just put two stitches in there. Third stitch, one, same third stitch, two. Fourth stitch, one. Fourth stitch, two. Fifth stitch, one fifth stitch, two, sixth stitch, and final stitch, one, and two. We now have gone from having six stitches up to 12, and now we're gonna go from 12 to 18. We are increasing six stitches every single round, and we're essentially gonna do that until we get to 30. And I do stagger my stitches even with this. I like how staggering my stitches makes it so that it is a bit more round and I like that for my snowman. So now we are still not to the point where we're staggering them yet. We have not deviated from what we would typically do in an amigurumi. So here we're going to then, you can mark, put your marker in right there if you'd like so that you can keep track of where your start of your round is. I'll do that real quick just so that you can see where the start is. And we're gonna go into our first stitch of what our next round would be and we're going to single crochet one, then increase. Placing two inside that second stitch. So the next stitch, one, the stitch after that, place two. We're gonna be going up to 18, and essentially one, essentially we are two, putting a space between each of our increases every time we go outward the further out we go because we're only increasing six stitches each round evenly across it basically so one two and then on that second we put another stitch right there oh i split my yarn right there so let's fix that i need to do another increase so one on that second one then two now one and two, and one, and two. So now we're back at the beginning. We should have 18 stitches. I'm gonna move my tail forward. I'm gonna take my tail out from where it was and I'm gonna bring it up into the stitch right there. And I'm going to do a quick little double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now we have 18 stitches, and this is where staggering our stitches comes in, basically. I'm actually going to move this so that it's a bit better angle. There we go. When we stagger our stitches, essentially for what would be, that was our first round, second round, third round, we're on our fourth round, we're going from 18 to 24 stitches. And how we would usually do that is single crochet one, two, then increase. What that does is it puts an increase on top of an increase, which creates a line after a while. So if you continue to do that, increasing all the way out, you're going to create a nice line and it'll look a bit more hexagonal than circular, which you don't want. You don't want it to look like a hexagon unless you're making something bee related, probably. I don't know. So how we fix that is we stagger our stitches instead of stacking them. It's called stacking them when you put them on top of each other like that. So when you stagger them, you're going to take those two stitches and you're going to split them in half. 
instead of single crocheting one, two, increase, you're going to single crochet one, increase, single crochet one, single crochet one, increase, single crochet one. So there's still the same distance between your increases, but they're not overlapping on top of the other increases from the previous round, and it doesn't look as stacked up, basically. So now we're going to be going from 18 to 24 doing that. We're going to single crochet one and increase. Increase and single crochet one, single crochet one, increase, putting two inside that one, single crochet one, single crochet one, increase, single crochet one, single crochet one. Increase. Let's pull this out a little more. Single crochet one. I think we have two more. Yeah. Single crochet one. Increase. Oh, I split my yarn there. Let's fix that. Single crochet one. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> and increase. Single crochet one, single crochet one, increase, single crochet one. So that is the end of our round. We now have 24 stitches on our work and we have one more increase round to do after this for the top part of the head basically. There will be more increases later on, we're just not there yet. All right, so here we are gonna be going from 24 up to 30. And because we don't have an even number of stitches to stagger them or anything like that, we're gonna go back to what we were doing where we just single crochet one, two, three, increase because we're adding that extra one between the increases basically. So one, two, three, and on this fourth stitch, we're going to increase. So one, two, one, two, three, and on our fourth stitch, we're going to increase. One, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, and increase one two three and increase should have one more yeah one two oh let's put my yarn there and i don't like how that looks so let's fix that this yarn seems to be really frayable lately, and I don't know why. One, two, three, and increase. So that was the end of row five, and I'm gonna move my tail up. And for here, that is it for our increasing on the top of our head. What we're gonna do here is for rows six through 13, so for eight rounds, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, we have eight rounds going around of just those 30 stitches. And then we're going to do a decrease and some more increasing to make the rest of the body. So we're gonna go around for eight rounds on the head and I'll show you what the decreases and then increases look like. I'll be right back. All right, so now we have gone around for our eight rounds. This is where we started and now we went around eight times and we've gone down to here. So here is where I like to add my eyes just to get it done with. And I like to do it between, like in the center of my eight rounds. So I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four, find a spot like right here. And I try to give it so that they are about five stitches away from one another. So here I've got one, two, three, four. That's gonna go right here then. I'm gonna kinda just wiggle that in. And now I'm gonna count over Again, one, two, three, four. So I want it to go along 
this spot right here, but I like to make sure that one, two, three, four, five, the eyes are not so close. So I've got five stitches, one, two, three, four, five stitches between the eyes. And now that I am pretty happy with that, they're pretty centered. I like how they look. I'm gonna take my backs and I'm gonna just plop them onto the back there and do that for both of them. And now we're going to work on row 14, where we are going to kind of taper the neck on our little guy here. We go inward and then we go back outward so that it kind of makes it look like a rounded head. Uh, the decrease rounds out the head a bit more versus just letting it be straight down and then you go out. I prefer how it looks when you just decrease around. So we have currently 30 stitches on our work right here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to decrease from 30 down to 24. And how we do that is we're going to single crochet three. So one, we're doing the inverse of what our last increase was. Two, three, and now I'm gonna decrease these next two stitches. And the way that I decrease is I go through the front loops of both stitches, like so. I'll show that again. Go through the front, dip down, and go through the front just like that. And then I single crochet through both of those loops just like I would any other stitch. I'll show that one more time. Single crochet three, one, two, three, and now I go through this loop, go through that loop, four and five. I'm gonna put those two together like so. One, two, three, four and five. One, two, three, four and five. One, Two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So now that we've tapered our head so that it is going inward ever so slightly, we're going to do the opposite. We have 24 stitches on our work right now during this round. Our goal for the body is to get it up to 42 stitches. And the way that we do that is we're going to do some increasing for the next three rounds. We're gonna go from 24 up to 30, from 30 up to 36, and from 36 up to 42. Again, we are staggering our increases just like we always do, and I'm adding six stitches each round. So for here, we're going to do the inverse of what we just did. We just single crochet three decreased, so we took two stitches and put them together. Now we are going to single crochet three and then increase. I'm actually gonna take my tail and pull it up so that I can tell where my stitches are now and make it a bit easier to see as a stitch marker. Like so. And now I'm gonna fix my head, there we go. We have our tail just hanging out here and we're going to single crochet three one we are now on row 15 single crochet three one oh don't split my yarn two and three and now on this fourth stitch we're going to put two stitches inside so one go back inside that same stitch two one two three, and then increase. One, and another stitch inside that same stitch. Two. Repeat until the end. And increase. So now, that I did my last increase for row 15. We are now on row 16. I'm gonna again move my tail forward so that I can keep track of what we're doing. And we are going to now stagger 
the increases on this round. Usually you would single crochet four and then increase, but instead you're going to single crochet two, one, two, increase, one and two in the same stitch, and then single crochet another two. So one, and two and you can see that that lines up with your last increase piece right there so again one two increase one two and then one two and you're going to repeat that the entire way around we are going from 30 stitches up to 36 stitches and two that is the end of row 16 and so now we're going to move our tail forward once more and this is our last increase round of our snowman so we are now on row 17 and we're going to single crochet five and then increase we're going from 36 stitches up to 42 and that is the highest number of stitches we will have for our snowman so one two Oops, let's redo that. One, two, there we go. Three, four, five, and on the sixth stitch, we're going to increase. So one and two, one, two, three, four, oh, I split, let's fix that, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and increase, and we're going to repeat this until the end of the round again. increase on that last stitch one and two so here we're going to be going from rows 18 through 25 and we're going to just single crochet around and around and around and around and around you can see where the neck tapered and how we have a ton of stitches now on our work that's what creates this nice body it's it gets wider and wider as you stuff it I'm going to go around and I'm going to single crochet around for nine rounds for rows 18 through 25, those 42 stitches, and I'll be back. I'm probably going to stuff the head as I go along, but other than that, I will be right back as soon as I am to the point where we're going to be doing more decreases. Go around for nine rounds and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've gone around for our nine rounds. I stuffed the head a little bit and it's got a little bit of stuffing coming out here. So what we're going to do is it looks a little off right now it doesn't all come together until after you get all of your accessories on here but you're going to want to start decreasing fairly rapidly we're going to be decreasing six stitches every single round until we get back down to six stitches and that's how i close up on our bottom it looks pretty good i also do the staggering technique for our bottom here so for rows 26 through 31 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We've got six more rounds where we're going to decrease six stitches every single round and I'm going to stagger my decreases. Just like I did earlier when I did my neckline to stagger those stitches, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So this is gonna be a little bit difficult to show. I wonder if I can get this at a different angle. That might work as I bounce my camera. Sorry for people that have issues with bouncing cameras. All right. I actually went a little bit ahead and I shouldn't have. So I'm going to actually undo a couple stitches. One, two, 
three. We're now back at the beginning of our round right here. You can tell they're a little bit blown up from being worked, but it'll work either way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to single crochet the inverse of how we just increased. So rows 14 through 17, we're going to kind of flip it. So we're going to go 42 down to 36 to 30 to 24, etc. The way that we do that is our last increasing round, we single crocheted five increase. So now we're going to single crochet five and decrease. Take that stitch back down, essentially. So one two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to take our two stitches, just like I did before. I'm going to go through the front loops of both of them, just like so, and we're going to single crochet through that just like it is one stitch. We're going to do this the entire way around this row. So two, three, four, five, oh, and six and seven together. And we're gonna keep going until we're at the end of row 26. And this is our last decrease of row 26. Put those two stitches together. And now that I have those two together, A, I'm gonna go get a different camera, um, little dolly here, so that I can have a better angle. This is not one that I think will work out in the long run. I think it worked out for that row, but I need to get a different angle for this so that I can actually show how to do these decreases. And two, I'm going to move my tail as I've been doing as I'm talking, so that it is now through the last stitch of our row 26. And now we are on row 27. I'll be right back as soon as I get a different little tripod. All right, so I think I found a better camera angle. I found my tripod, so I think this will work better. So now we are on row 27, and we are going to be staggering our stitches for this. We're going to stagger our decrease in the same exact way that we staggered along row 16 except for this time instead of doing an increase we're doing a decrease so we're going to single crochet two so one two take our two stitches one two together and place them together like so one and then two we're going to repeat that again so one two, I dropped my stitch, there we go, put through both as a decrease, and one, two, and again you can see that there's four stitches between each decrease doing it this way, and we're going to continue doing that all the way to the end. So I'm going to again move my tail, not rip my yarn, there we go, and we're going to go along to row 28 now, where we're going to be going from 36 stitches, or excuse me, we just got down to 30 stitches, and now we're going to go down to 24. I can English. I already English the best, especially at this late at night. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we have 30 stitches on our work right now. And we're going down to 24. The way that we do that, again, is single crochet 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to take 4 and 5 together and decrease. One, two, three, four, and five are decreased together. 
Repeat until the end. And last decrease right there. I'm going to take our tail. And again, you'll notice that it's shifting towards the right. That is okay. And now that we are at 24 stitches, we are close to being to where we need to be for stuffing. We're not quite there. So what I like to do is we're going to stagger our stitches again. We are now on row 29. And we're going to single crochet one, decrease, single crochet one. So single crochet one, take these two stitches, decrease, single crochet one, single crochet one, decrease these two stitches together, and single crochet one. Repeat until you get to the end of your row. And this is our last decrease right here. And we have only one more stitch to do after that. Again, I'm gonna pull my tail so that it is going forward. We are now at 18 stitches and we're pretty close to the bottom here. You can stuff as you go. I just prefer to wait until the very end. So I'm gonna go stuff my little bottom here so that it is full and I'll be right back and I'll show you how I finish off these last 18 stitches. Be right back. Okay, so we are mostly stuffed here, but I still have a little bit in the center here, but I also want it to be a little bit easier for me to actually get this row done and so I can actually show it on camera. So we're going to just do the next round, I guess. So we are going to do round 30 and we're going to single crochet one and decrease. We're going to go down from 18 down to 12 stitches and it's getting to the point where it's pretty hard to show. two together and single crochet that together again single crochet one and those two together until you get to the end repeat actually that is not a tight stitch so we're gonna go back and tighten up our tension a little bit just a little bit so that that hole is not as blatant. The tighter your tension, the tighter your stitch, which tends to mean the smaller and less likely it is that your work is going to have holes that show things. I try to fix it whenever I can. Whenever I notice that a hole is particularly large, and we'll show all of the stuff. And what I like about this white yarn is that you can't see the stuffing quite as easily as you would if you were working with a darker yarn, which is nice. The polyfill itself is white, and so is the yarn. So it's kind of nice that you don't have to deal with that that way. So let's put those two together. Eek! I split my yarn there. There we go. I fixed it. Done. And this is our final decrease for this round. Put those two together and now we have 12 stitches. I'm going to stuff a little bit more off camera and then we're going to decrease every single stitch and then I'll show you how I close off those six stitches. I'll be right back as soon as I stuff a little bit more and then I'm going to literally take my hook and decrease every single stitch. So these two are going together, and these two are going together, and these two, and these two, and these two. Be right back as soon as that is done. Okay, so I just went ahead and did the ink decreases from 12 down to six, and we are all stuffed, and I'm going to cut my tail, and I'm gonna show you how I take my tail and weave it through my final six stitches and how I get that seamless bottom look. I'm gonna pull that through and I'm actually gonna take my tail and I'm gonna cut that because it's so far out from where it began. It started all the way up here, mind you. 
and we're going to just snip it and it should sink back into its work there. All right, we're gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna stop hitting the tripod. We're going to grab a darning needle and this is where the darning needle comes in. We're going to take it and we're gonna feed it through the back towards the front of every single stitch. So we're gonna go from the center of our work into the outer part like so. And then we're going to do that again with every single stitch. Turn and put it in this one. Turn and put it in this one. This is four, five, and six. And what I like to do after I've done the sixth one is I take my darning needle and I go through the center hole out like over here. And we're going to just pull that nice and tight. Not so tight that we're going to snap our yarn though, because I have done that. But the nice smoothness there is all nice and pulled. So we're going to take our darning needle and feed it through a different angle. I always try to go at two different angles whenever I have a tail. So I go one way and then I go like a completely opposite direction. Just so that the tail won't go back or won't loosen up or anything like that. So that is pretty much all she wrote. So that is going to be it for today's video. Tomorrow we're going to be going over, hopefully tomorrow or the next day, very very soon. As soon as I can get all this uploaded and edited and all that stuff, I'm going to go over how to make the little hands, nose, and little earmuffs for this little guy. So stay tuned for that and pretty much do the whole like, subscribe, be in the know, hit the little bell if you want to be notified when we post our videos. We typically put a free pattern coupon for our patterns, which you can get again down below if you're interested in knowing when that happens. And I guess until next time, guys, bye!